So hello and welcome back if you've been following this series. This is a video on model train automation. This is video number four in the series and this is going to look at controlling the train automatically using a sensor to detect the train and slowing and restarting the locomotive as appropriate. If you've missed the previous videos, then they're all linked in the description. Feel free to go back to them first. First one is on power supply, uh, converting AC to DC. The second one is on the H bridge, using that to change the polarity of the DC supply to change the direction of the train. Part three looks at PWM, which is used to control the speed of a DC motor and this video is on detecting and automating the train. This will work with Raspberry Pi or an Arduino, um, whichever you prefer. We're going to detect the train using a reed switch. Now a reed switch, it's a little case with two switch contacts inside it and they're pulled together when there's a magnet nearby. You'll often see these on burglar alarms, on door sensors, as two little white blocks. In this case, this is the, the raw reed switch here, and you can just attach a small magnet to the bottom of the train. In this case, I've just used a bit of blue tack. Uh, you can use some sticky tape or, or a bit of glue, whatever you want to do to, to secure that to the bottom of the train. And then the reed switch just fits quite nicely between the tracks. In my case, uh, my outdoor one, I've got the more than enough space between the tracks. It fits quite nicely in double O. You might need to twist them so that they go lengthways rather than widthways on that, and particularly with the uh, smaller gauge, such as N gauge, but it will work, indeed work with most, as long as you can fit the magnet on the bottom of the locomotive without it uh, catching. So as the train goes over, it closes the contact, and in this case, it's the same as having a button. We connect it for an input, um, use an internal pull-up resistor so that when the switch is open you get a, a high signal on that input and when the read switch is closed then it closes down to zero and gives you a low signal. And in the case of the Raspberry Pi we use a GPIO zero and we can just pretend it's a button so we can do wait for press um, for that and uh, on the Arduino you just check what uh, but it's a high or low signal. The code is all provided in the links in the description and basically it starts with the, the locomotive stop. It increases the speed of the motor in the forward direction and this will use the, the PWM from the previous video and once it reaches um, the speed it will continue round and then wait for a button press in the case of the Raspberry Pi or a or a low signal in the case of the Arduino, it's both the same, both effectively a low signal and will then cause the train to slow down and stop and pause for a while. An alternative, if you don't want to use a read switch, is you can just put a normal switch on there and you can have that as a button which you press whenever you want it to slow down and that's sort of like uh, a bit more interactive between you and the train in that it will run around and then you get to choose whether it stops at the station or not. So that's something else you could uh, swap out instead. Hope that's been useful and if you want to see the next video which will be on internet of things how we can connect it to the internet and we can control the train from that uh, so if you want to follow that then click subscribe to the channel and click the notification icon and you'll be notified about that when that's available or you can follow me on all the social media such as Twitter and 
as uh, Penguin Tutor. And if you've got any comments, then feel free to leave them on here. And I look forward to seeing you for the next instalment.